wanted to address a question that I got from one of my online students. He's a young guy, still in his teens, and he had a question about family, work, life, sort of balance, a balance question. How do I, he was asking, let me just read the email from Sam. I was wondering if you could talk about the family slash music balance. I've asked many other musicians and aside from a couple of guys, I've always heard something along the lines of quote, if you wanna have a wife and family, own a house and cars, you can't be a musician. You could always keep music as a hobby. And then he goes on to say, I remember you, meaning me, uh, saying it's not a case of it being impossible, just a case of it being impossible for them, meaning the people who tell you that. I've been raised to value a family and in time I want my own, but I wanna still have my musical pursuits as my profession, which is what I want more than anything career-wise, but I don't wanna be selfish in that my spouse and future family will be in jeopardy because I don't wanna stop playing. Okay, there's a lot in there and um, I wanna address it, but I'm also trying to set up my studio, so I'm gonna kind of like discuss this as, as I unpack. And check out this clip. I'm showing you that clip to sort of force myself into making sure I put those clips out. I have a tendency to sit on things, you know, for way too long after I've made them. I like to call it perfectionism, but really it's just fear masquerading as, or wanting to be something more elegant than that. Anyway, um, on to Sam's question. I'm gonna try to answer this while I unpack because I gotta get this studio together. It's taking way too long. I was wondering if you could talk about the family slash music balance. If I have any balance now, and I try my best, you know, it's because I was really unbalanced when I was younger. What I mean by that is that in order to achieve balance, let's back up a little bit. First of all, music as a career, it's not a career choice, it's a calling. It is not something that you just do because it's like, oh, I could be an accountant or I could be a lawyer or I could be a dentist, or I could be a musician, let alone a freaking jazz musician. There's nothing about this that says stability, family, kids, I, well, that's kind of redundant, but no, not at all. If you want to be balanced later, you have to be unbalanced early on. When I was a teenager, when I had discovered the saxophone, I was practicing so much, I was only listening to jazz music. I mean, I was completely unbalanced for a long time more than 10 years. I went to college for it, and then after I got out of college for it, I spent 10 years in New York, and I really didn't make any money. I couldn't have supported a family at that period of time. It was a long, it was a long journey, but it was what I wanted to do. So I, in the back of my mind, I knew I wanted to have a family eventually, but I was also willing to sacrifice it in pursuit of the career that I wanted. Now the version of me now that has the family thinks that's insane because I now have the family, but the younger version of myself who was chasing the career part knew that if I had the family part too early, then the career part would never work out because I would want to do what was best for the family and that would mean, I, okay, I would take any job I needed to, but when I was chasing the music career, the music career came first, so I would make different decisions financially um, and otherwise that had to do with what were the best choices for the music and or you know my career, meaning I very, very often did things I'm like wandering around realizing I can't actually unpack my studio and record this video at the same time. So I'm just pacing. What was I saying? I mean, I would do things that made no financial sense because they made tons of musical sense. And if I, looking back on it, if I hadn't done those things, if I hadn't made those choices, then I, they would not have led to the other things musically and otherwise that led to the career, to my career starting to build and work, you know? which eventually led to me being able to have the family and then work on the balance part, you know what I mean? The next part of this, I'll save this for a different video, is a much broader and, and maybe more important topic, which is how do you balance practicing and fitting in music in your life, whether it's with a job and family, whatever, no matter what you do, because look, anybody who is watching this right now surely cares enough about their instrument, about their craft, about what they do, that regardless of how they earn their entire living, they face the challenge of trying to balance their work, their family and social life, and their music. 
And that's a big thing and it's a challenging, difficult thing. I'm gonna talk more about that, just not in this video because I don't wanna overwhelm it. I'm not even sure if this answered a question.